Capricorn, let's start with your reading. Today, we are going to look into the energies around you at the moment. And then we will focus on the events coming up for you in the near future. All right. Let's start with your messages. The Chariot and Ten of Pentacles, you're going to like that combination. Okay, as well as the outcome of the reading and the events coming up in the near future for you, Wheel of Fortune. You know, I am just getting a sense that things are happening for you, Capricorn. We are slowly moving towards your season. And we see how these energies, these events around you right now are starting to prepare for a big surprise coming towards you around the beginning of next year. This is some sort of important confirmation, idea, manifestation of love as well for some of you. There are many very well-deserved accomplishments coming up for you soon and it's something that will truly take you to the next level now considering everything that we are going through you might not see this possible at the moment a lot of issues a lot of limitations restrictions that in the next few months for you are going to be completely lifted. And that's what the chariot does. It starts the journey knowing that there might be issues and obstacles along the way, but with determination and patience as well, those obstacles are not going to impact the overall journey at all. And after all of these issues are going to be lifted, we see that for you, we just have extreme abundance in all the areas of your life that are important to you. Now, this Ten of Pentacles represents the world around you. So in your environment, there is a beautiful change in landscape. Someone new entering your life, a new job, a new home, a new career, money, resources, this is really, really beautiful because this is not just uh, representing one achievement. It's also allowing you to multiply. And we have to remember that every time we achieve something major, that is the moment to achieve even more. And we see how with the Ten of Pentacles, everything you touch turns to gold. And you need to keep that in mind when you start seeing these results. Now, this is your environment, whereas instead the chariot is an energy that comes from within you. Dominance, power, control, and no surprises there, but what you don't know is that right behind you, there is someone with your same energy chasing you while you're busy chasing your goal. And we'll see what this is about. Right now, it's not clear yet, but... As we'll see in the rest of the reading, you're going to just enter a time of surprises. Every week, there is going to be something new coming your way, some new milestones, some good news. And overall, these are things that maybe you're not expecting so fast. And one of these surprises is this other chariot energy trying to get your attention. Even if right now I see them chasing you in a very quiet way, afraid perhaps to distract you from your routine, from your life and journey towards your goal. Who is this person? What is this energy about? We'll see. I get the sense that you are purposely not trying to focus on this energy, almost if you were running away from it. And here's the thing. We need to look into it because otherwise when you do arrive to your goal, to your end destination, and we'll stop right there, this other element, this other person and their energy 
is going to come full speed still traveling towards you and crash into you push you away from your end destination from your main goal distracting you perhaps you know and delaying this beautiful ten of pentacles that right now wants to show up into your life because you absolutely deserve it now let's get through this hidden messages and this hidden energy next we have the ten of wands and i do believe that it connects with that in in a way with this message we see an issue that often comes up for you capricorn you try to do too much you try to take care of too much and you don't often realize what type of burden you put on yourself whether this is at work or in your family in your home environment or in relationships you always try to do as much as possible and for a very specific reason five of swords right here you are almost afraid of raising your expectations in general and then end up being disappointed by the people you believed in there is one thing that it's very particular to us capricorns when we finally decide to rely on someone trust them and overall give up control and then maybe this person disappoints us there is no going back from that never and since you care about the people around you right now you don't want to put yourself in the position where you're going to lose faith in them and this is something that might be happening now or it has happened in the past therefore creating this burden that we see with the ten of wands and we know that you do not want to lose faith in them because when that happens that's the end capricorns often forgive because they don't want that dark energy to linger over their heads while they're trying to achieve their goals but they never forget it's almost like a curse something changes inside of you and you can never bring it back to what it was before and so right here we see someone who perhaps has lied to you in the past deceived you and hid their real agenda their real intentions they didn't reveal their intentions until it was too late for you to do anything about it and fix the situation as you usually do and you know regardless of when that happened recently or even many years ago that event has broken something within you you know that there is something coming up here which is going to be shocking you know the more i look into this energy the more i see that the other cherry energy chasing you it's you capricorn you're running from yourself wow my jaw has just dropped this is you just a different version of you the pessimistic version perhaps the one that prevents you to find the strength and courage to take risks and work towards your goal with confidence and purpose right here perhaps you are trying to escape that inner voice that tells you that you're not going to make it and that you're not worth it when that person in the past failed you whether it was an ex-partner, a friend, a parent, something broke inside of you and created these two versions of yourself. And now you're trying to run towards your goal while trying to run away from the dark side of yourself. Wow, Cappies. Talking about a twist. <laughs> now, with the eight of wands, you have something coming your way fast in the next few weeks this is rapid movement and you need to be ready for it it connects to this disappointment from the past and from what i see next it will have the potential to heal what needs to be healed to fix what was broken all right so four of swords will of fortune this is major capricorn in a way that you're not anticipating at all 
you are going to receive messages and information about something or someone which has been very heavy on you for most of your life. Or it definitely feels like a long time of you feeling that burden, carrying that burden. This is going to alleviate anxiety, strain, and pain in a major beautiful way. You have no idea how this healing time in general and energy is actually going to change your life for good forever. Especially as Capricorns, we want to fight. We want to keep moving towards our goals. And along the way, sometimes we forget that certain setbacks and disappointments need to be healed in order to keep moving faster towards our dreams. This is something that now comes up and it will make you see the world in a different way. It will free you up from chains that perhaps you didn't even know you had. This is amazing energy. And it's leading up to a brand new beginning filled with major ab abundance and major achievements. Now, I'm so curious about all of this energy because we often don't realize how what's happening inside of us deeply impacts what happens around us. And so, Let's see what this Eight of Wands is about. I want to see what type of communication, conversation is coming to you, what you should expect, and how it's going to impact the very journey you're on right now. Impacting, in fact, its final outcome in a very positive way, as you can see here. What is coming up for you in the near future and where? Is it going to take you in the distant future, Capricorn? Let's see. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week, Capricorn, I select people, I randomly select people who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal 30-minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning to confirm. Make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading Capricorn. The bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the future situation is a very important one. To all sorts, you are at a crossroad right here. This is something that you have to decide to do. And if you don't decide it yourself, someone else, something else will for you. And it's very important for you to be able to take off this blindfold and realize that something within you, perhaps at times, makes you sabotage yourself. And as soon as you realize what that is, you are going to be able to move full speed and to achieve things that perhaps up to this point you've struggled towards. Now, we see how this healing process, it's starting with the Eight of Wands. Very soon, messages, information from someone who is part of this Ten of Wands burden. And we need to understand what this is going to be about, how to handle it, what decision you have to make and how this incoming energy, it's going to change your life forever. Ten of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, these are not energies that you usually see together in readings. And this is something that it's indicating that right now a door is opening up for you, a portal is opening up for you into a reality where you can truly have it all, the abundance. The, the love, the support, the happiness, the laughters, every single thing that is important to you, Capricorn. So let's look into this eight of wands, see who's about to knock at your door in the near future. <laughs> of course. Now we see where this person is coming from and we see what they're here for right there. All right. 
So Capricorn, this is going to be important. And first of all, because we see 